Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about pseudo elements colon before and colon after. In fact before I uh, explain what they mean I'm going to straight away start off with the browser preview. Browser preview in Google Chrome first. Now have a look at this page. Have a look at the border all around the page. Isn't that fantastic people? No matter which uh, size I resize my body of the document the web page basically the border adjusts itself and uh, it's always uh, you know going around the body right out here I've used the pseudo elements colon before and colon after what do they do there's a property called content that allows you to add content before and content after some element or some uh, material some text maybe or some some content itself so content before content content after content content before or after uh, some element that's possible with the pseudo elements colon before and colon after uh, I'm gonna divide this tutorial into two parts the first part is only gonna be the preview I've used two very simple examples and one tough example. The tough example is the bordered example that I was explaining just now uh, that no matter what the browser uh, size is as you can very clearly see even when you resize you can see that the blue colored light blue colored border is running all around the uh, body or the browser window okay now the simple example is uh, this one I've used block quote to say something which is Mohit Manuja that is my name knows how to work with pseudo elements colon before and colon after block quote mind you people only indents the text it does not give you the opening quotation marks like so and the closing quotation marks like so again out here I've used pseudo uh, elements before and after to add some content basically this image before and this image after the text okay and this is the third example people here I have my platter tonight just an example people these are some recipes uh, paneer tikka masala basically it's it's uh, you know uh, this this is some text encapsulated in the p tag or the para tag now I've added some content before which is this symbol and after which is this text the uh, element P out here also I've added this symbol or this picture or this image before the P tag and some content which is some text after the P tag so in a nutshell pseudo elements add some content before and some content after your element it could be some text some material some element itself that's what they do add to both the ends the south pole and the north pole or just one single end people you you're not you're not forced to use both of them together you can simply use the colon before or the colon after pseudo elements right so out here you you see here I've added these three symbols here I've added a different symbol and it clearly says that this recipe is a non vegetarian dish while this one is a vegetarian dish this one again is a non vegetarian dish so I've used these three examples but the best of them all is adding borders uh, to the body and even on the resize you see the border still stays put even if I scroll it just stays put so this was uh, also made possible by first of all adding left and right uh, borders to the body now that was the easy part just adding left and right borders to the body was the easy part but then I've used the uh, colon before and colon after pseudo elements to add borders before and after the body to create these two borders here at the top and here at the bottom All right so and uh, yes obviously I had to think a lot work a lot to create this effect so we'll see all that in the next part you'll have to wait for the you know uh, the real the hardcore stuff 
which is uh, going to be in the next part. The part one uh, was only to tell you what pseudo elements colon before and colon after actually do. They just add a spice, you know, this is just spice up your elements, people. Add something before and add something after uh, your elements. And people, remember that after this tutorial, we have another part, part two. Please join me there. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.